everybody, welcome to the Ridgeway World. I'm Jeff, and that's Terry behind the camera. Hello. What is up now? We got gnomes everywhere. We got it. My great grandparents' They're... postal desk now has gnomes sitting in the, Hi. the change holder. They're just sitting there because they don't know what to do with them yet, and we'll figure something out. Well, the other gnomes were put away for the season. Why wouldn't these be? They're Christmas gnomes. Yeah, but Christmas is over. Well, Christmas isn't fully over. Because what else do we have? We have Christmas gifts that still haven't been exchanged with Jess and Ash that are still sitting here in the, the bedroom. So that's a, that's a positive thing we to look forward to. We have to look forward to. Yeah. Right, you know? Yeah. And we got a baby on the way, Charlotte. So that's another positive thing to, look, you know, to think about. Charlotte! So I'm trying to think positive. And I've read a lot of the comments from a lot of people, and I, I think I've uh, responded and hearted to quite a few as best I could. And uh, there's a lot of other people going through mo emotions and moods and slight depressions and bipolar, whatever the case may be. It's all right to be depressed once in a while, but if you get depressed too much, talk to somebody. That's my advice. Good. I have That's my lovely advice. wife. I have my lovely wife to talk to. I got my family to talk to. So it tries to keep me upbeat because everybody gets worried about your loved ones, family, whatever the case may be. So always check on them. Make sure everybody's and, good. And we have good news to share, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, Johnny got a good report from the pathology uh, department. His, um, his tumor came back as benign, which is negative in the uh, layman world of medical, you know, uh, discussions. So Johnny is cancer free. The only issue is, is they did uh, a couple different spots on the tumor that they removed from him. So they're going to go a little more in depth on the tumor, take some more sections. I, I forget what they... Just to be Totally positive. Tumor. Totally positive. Yes. But my man has been doing very Look good since you. he got out. And guess what today is? Today is Johnny's birthday. Oh yeah, you want about it, John? You've had so many before. He's fourteen. He's fourteen. He's two. Oh and my he's gosh! He's been doing very so well. Happy. He's back to you look know you. trotting. Yes. He's back to you know goofing off. Now he's got look. He's going to get his toy. <laughs> uh, I'm calling it a pal because it's a cow, but it's got like a pig nose. So and Luna's going to take it from him. Right. But he's 14, is the oldest dog we've that ever we've had. ever had. Yeah. And we're so lucky and blessed to have him with we us are today. Very lucky. And, and he's that's, doing so good. And that's another positive, because again, I, I was extremely worried you know, about him. He is family, Luna's family, no matter how people, oh, they're only dogs. No, they're not only dogs, they are your family. And, and you, you know, you worry about it, you know, so. But he's doing good, he's got the uh, pup back in his eyes, he's got a gleam in his eyes. He's still on a little bit of drugs right now, but. Um, just to keep him calm. Yeah, just to keep him calm. So he was he was having a fit the day out in the woods <laughs> because the Amazon driver pulled up. So Johnny, I had to hold him back because he's barking in his real deep seal voice he has now as he's you know gotten older. But he wanted to go chase after the Amazon driver. So he still got he still still got a lot lot of liveliness and a lot of life left in him for you know being fourteen. So, so what are you gonna do with that list well, that you made? This is my list, and not that I'm going to totally. Forget about it, but I'm going to, you know, keep this list in my head. I do want to get, and this is for positive thinking for me, is I do want to get a, a actual full list of passwords and things like that for uh, other stuff that I have and different things around the house. So Yes, and I can do the same. Right. And I want to show you, not only you, I'd show the boys because, you know, granted, they're, pro they're going to inherit the house someday. I'm not saying we're going in the next two days, week, month, year, whatever, but... When they come in and got to clean this joint out, I want them to know things that, you know, little crazy things like outside, inside, everything. And both of us, I, you know, I should know what you do, you should know what I do, just to cover all bases, right? Yep. Right. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let me have that camera for a minute. Well, so what are you doing today? Okay. Uh, well, for, I have, this is what I'm going to do momentarily. Wait a minute, there's a hole in your head. Huh? What did... I had my... You're the one that grabbed I, the video camera first. I wasn't supposed to be on the camera. Let's analyze what colors are rooting hey, that here. that's not nice. Isn't that like a, a Ace Ventura pet detective had that? I put a little texture spray on here because my bang... I only wash my hair. It's very dry. I only wash it once or twice a week. Mm. 
Well, it's just I put a little texture spray in there and I put a little Velcro roller and I just give it a little bit of a right. lift and then it'll look better later. Okay. But anyway, I'm making a cake for Johnny. Birthday cake. And it's in cake. the shape of a bone. I got this kit Johnny from me. Amazon and had good reviews, so I'm going to bake that for him. And I it take comes it from... with icing and it comes with little sprinkles and... So, I take it from the way you have, this is a, a legitimately good for dog cake. Yes. Okay. The dog birthday cake, and it gives you all the ingredients here. It's made in the USA. Um, USA. USA. I mean, I'm only going to give him a small piece, but still. All right. It's the first time I've made so we're not a eating cake it, right? for... Huh? We're not eating it, right? Well, you could eat it if you wanted to. I don't see anything in here that's wrong. Well, I'm not a big I mean, cake eater, but... Yeah, well, anyway, it also comes with candle. Oh, okay. So. You know what we ought to do now? Because if we look over there, remember we had a few things uh, to open? <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. I want your pill knife. Yeah. Okay, because since Miss Terry had, had the boofus this week, it was, we're a little delayed in getting out the, uh, you know, the fan mail, and I think maybe a Christmas card or two was in here, but we'll, we're going to do it now. But you're feeling better now, right? Yes. You're not like a Petri dish, very contagious? No. Okay. This is from David and Cindy Corey, and it has what? Eclipse Lavender Mint on the back. Dun, dun, dun. And it, I can see the holly on the envelope. Or the uh, thing. This is a Merry Christmas, the Corys. Dave, Cindy, Marley, Gizmo, Rocket, and Garfield. Aww. Isn't that very nice? Oh, look at the pup. I know. Oh, that's so cute. That is very cute. Thank the you the so people much. The are cute, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. This, Mr. Jeffrey Ridgeway. Oh, this is very big. I don't know who this is from. This is addressed to uh, Dear Eduardo. From me, I guess. Uh, this, there was year 2002 on July 22nd, 2002. Would you tell Western Ridgemont? Western, uh -huh. That one I don't get. I guess maybe it's a list of area. And here's another thing from Dear Alvaro, to Dear Alvaro. So I think, I'm thinking maybe, maybe they got their, when they were writing it, got it a little backwards, maybe. Mickey does downtown Cedar or this is just telling me that what's going on in his area, maybe. Well, thanks, Eduardo. I guess that's where it's from because there was no return address. Um, this is from Spencer Eshelman. We appreciate it, Spencer. And I think this is gonna be another Christmas card also. Yes, it is. Merry Christmas to you. Isn't that very nice? Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, there's a lot written in here. Uh, dear Jeff and Terry, may your days be filled with happiness while Christmas is here. May the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy all year round. That is very beautiful. Yeah. Um, my name is Spencer and absolute huge fan of you and your family's channel. I'm a first time writer and a long time viewer ever since the Psycho series. I want to thank you guys for everything you do to bring this entertainment for us. I used to see, uh, I used to see a theater student myself, or used to be a theater student myself, uh, and one day would love to start a channel with vlogs and acting roles like you guys Go did. ahead, do it. Yep, go ahead, do it. Just get started. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like to ask a question to Jeff. I think basically what, what Spencer's asking is, uh, how did I get into politics? Why did I get into politics? And uh, at, at a young age, and, and also Jeff Jeffrey Jr. or JT, he got into politic, politics very young. And I think just to answer Spencer's question is, uh, I got into it because I wanted to help the community, a community I lived in my whole life basically because we moved from Elmer to here when we got married and it's only a mile away. So my father was in politics, so I wanted to stay in politics at the local level. So somebody asked me to run, I ran and 15 years later I, I had enough and got out but if it's uh, inspiration aspirations of something you want to do by all means do it because we need good young people in there to help out the communities and help out the state so i i advise it jump in jump in feet first uh oh and p he said p.s thank god johnny's doing well 
Oh, uh, this is another you. one. I think this is from Eduardo too because it's the same concept, and I'll read it at a later time. It's a book. Terry will have to read it. I don't do a lot of reading. Ever since Reader's Digest quit, that's one of my best reading. Sitting on the toilet reading the Reader's Digest was the best. Uh, it's a book called We Believe by Bill and Zavino, as told by Madeline McNary. And uh, this is from him. I'm a fan of Jesse and your family. Please enjoy my book, which is the testimony of my visit oh, with Jesus in heaven. Minute. Andrew Ozzie. I read Zavino. this. Oh, cool. Because uh, Larry had a fan send it. Send it. it must be, it must be the same guy or. or um... Yeah, well, no, so I read it. Yeah, oh, okay. great well, story. Well, I mean, Andrew, I, I will read it also. I, I mean, he's been through a lot. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I it's, think it's, you even explained it. He had some medical issues as a child and uh, passed. Well, yeah, uh, more than medical yeah. issues. I mean, that, that was... It was, it was the, his life, you know. It was, um, well, and, anybody, it's, and it's actually very positive, positive thinking and prayer and all that was was key and right. instrumental. So, um, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Well, I think Andrew's telling me something about positivity. So, uh, recommend a book if anybody wants a chance. Give, give it a look, and I'll give it a read too. Uh, and we'll go from there. And and the cards, we'll just put up on put our, up on our. This is where we put all the cards. Um, we got Angela's card here. We got Morgan's card. We have more more cards from fans than we do from friends and family. But so we thank but we you all. appreciate it. We do. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. There's a lot of caring people in the world. That's what we like. There. Oh my God. Oh my. <laughs> Look at that. Poor thing. It does so cute. It's a big day, buddy. 14 years old. Oldest dog we've ever had. Happy yeah. birthday, <laughs> bud. That's a puppy, really. Yeah. Check yeah. out that birthday. You guys here. ready? Yeah. yeah. One, One, two, two three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Get out of Dodge. <laughs> Tail gets lit on fire. Yep. You gonna blow? What's this? What's this? Bark at it, John. He says, I don't I only open Christmas presents, huh? Uh, I just, yeah. Well, I always say I look good in this hat. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Well, he's keeping no, he's it keeping on. that hat on. You like that hat, huh? Aww. He was the best looking birthday boy I ever seen. It makes your head bigger. That's all you could ever Does wish he for. He's a birthday boy. Now you gotta cut him a piece. Yeah, I will. While filming. No. <laughs> you want me to hold it while you? Huh? Oh, yeah, you can. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. This is the cake I made, Jess. It's a, a puppy dog cake. Oh, you made it? It was like a, it was it was a kit. recipe yeah. you found? Oh, it's okay. like a, it's got rice flour and the icing, ha the icing, the icing is yogurt. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So that should be good then. Oh, Yenny wants to be involved. Oh, we got this one. No, I got Jess. Oh, no, you. Oh, what happened, boy? He took the hat off. You rejected that life. <laughs> and then tripped on it. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Come here, John. Should have left it on, guy. John. John. Boy. You want some? You want to taste it? Not too bad, huh? Not too good. A little messy. Little mess Happy birthday, bud! Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hi, birthday boy. Is you sleeping? Huh? It's rough turning 14, isn't it? Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I believe you wish you do it. Yeah. What are you doing? I eat the cake. The dog is going to eat it all. You're eating it, a dog's cake? That Doesn't it taste bad. terrible? No, I didn't eat the icing. 
Icing doesn't have any good taste to it, so. But the cake's not bad. It's oh, like my rice flour. God. Look, you want some? No. Watch. I taste. Oh, I some. put my finger in that icing. It was. It was. It was not good. Oh, Johnny's staring at me now. Yeah, because he's well, like, my cake. He's like, that's my cake. He says, that's my cake, bud. That's not bad. The icing is not good. Icing. Sorry. Hmm. See. What? I swallowed it. It's good. <clears throat> It's all right. Hey, everybody have a great day, a good life, and try some dog cake. It's, it's, it's different. What do you think about that? Huh? Actually, the cake isn't that bad. Well, you said it wasn't. No, I mean, but it really, actually, after you know how stuff when it, you, you swallow it and, it, and then you let it linger a little bit in there? It's actually like a regular cake, like a, like a normal person cake. But the icing's nasty. I don't know what the hell that a is. A normal person? Well, yeah, I'm not a normal person. I used to eat dog biscuits. What the hell?